Here we go. Well, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. If you're new to the channel, my name is Damon Fryer. And today we are heading down to the Vancouver International Auto Show. It's at the Canadian Convention Center. We have a beautiful day here in downtown Vancouver. I'm currently staying at the Fairmont. So I'm currently in their house car, which I believe is a, this is a brand new BMW 7 Series, is it not? Yes. Oh, this thing is nice. Look at cozy seats. I mean, look at these. <laughs> no, this thing is brand, brand new. Well, thank you for the ride, sir. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. We are looking forward to the auto show. It is a huge buzz here in Vancouver. I mean, we have some serious hypercars this year. So I can't wait to show you guys. In fact, you just saw there's been plenty of supercars buzzing around. Why don't we just jump into this? Here we go. Media press tour, dead silence. <laughs> and this is packaging there we go. for Koenigsegg in the, in the unique scissor door. <clears throat> the entire car is made of carbon fiber. Everything is handmade in Sweden. Welcome to the Vancouver International Auto Show. I almost couldn't say that. That's a long one. And I brought Gabriel with me. What's going on, guys? Seven Fig. Check happy, him out. Link happy, in description. Happy to be here. Happy link, to be here. Link in description. Happy to be here. You know, we the, do that for everything. I know. The reality is, is we've been standing here for like I've been here for four hours. Very I got my media pass. We've been waiting for the unveiling of what's here behind me. The very first Koenigsegg Agera RS, first Koenigsegg ever to be Canadian delivered to a customer. This is a big moment and uh, congratulations to Koenigsegg Canada. We're on the we're on the inner rope. I feel special, like look at this. This protects you from everybody. We made it into the club. We made it into the club. World's fastest production car. Really? This thing broke the record in Nevada like a couple of months ago, a few months ago. Oh, My yeah. timeline might be off. So RS, fastest car in the world. Here you go, top speed for a production vehicle. Now, what the nice thing, it's done 277 miles per hour. They very conveniently converted that for all us Canadians, 447 kilometers an hour. While they have the doors open, why don't we stick our heads inside and get a quick look at this thing. So, Gabe, yes. now that you're up close and personal, thoughts on the door mechanism? It is a work of art. Like it is absolutely crazy to see how it pulls out and then up. It's it's next level. Like Lambo doors are cool, but this is like tenfold that. Christian von Koenigsegg himself is an engineer and is the one I believe who designed the mechanism. If you look at the mechanism, it's in, it's intense. This is carbon fiber, by the way. All carbon carbon too, isn't it? All carbon. This car, right down to the wheels. And I love the carbon that they have because it's this very metallic looking carbon. It's distinctive. They even do the mirrors in it. Yeah. Uh, chassis, tub, I mean. That weave, just like so cool. It's an incredible weave. Now, thoughts on uh, the interior. I like it, you know what? It's very, and like, I know they're different cars, but it's very similar to the Bugatti. Like, it's just like, it's that next level of interior. Like. The, Perfect. the windshield yeah. design, it's, I've never seen anything like it. It wraps around yeah. so much to the left and the right of yeah. the cockpit. And this is what it's gonna look like from the driver's perspective. So guys, I'm gonna give it to you right here. There you go. By the way, that's glass. Oh wow. So you have like a bit of a, a roof that you can see through there. There's the ghost, the kind of a ghost. It's hiding partly. Now that is that is kind of odd to me. Like they put the ghost on the glass, but then the ghost is c 
covered up by like that brake light. This wing is something else as well. Yes. It is uh, a functional active arrow wing. Oh, it's active. It is, it, it, it moves, it moves. That's cool. Exit of the exhaust. Unfortunately, the car, you know, we'd love to see it opened up because you definitely see a lot more. Oh, the reverse camera. Crazy. Wow. You hit anything significant on the road and your reverse camera is going to be gone. You can replace it with a cheap flight. You price have your 10K. LED brake light in here as well. It's got its like own spoiler for airflow. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Look at that. It does. It's got a, a spoiler under the spoiler, Gabe. You have discovered the brake light is like a spoiler under the spoiler. That's the new game, stacked spoilers. Stacked spoilers. <laughs> All right, we'll come around this side, get a quick look from uh, the passenger side. How wide this like? It's so wide. I mean, that's that's my arm coming out to the edge of the car. It's my entire forearm. It's a hefty forearm at that. So there you go, gauges. I wish we could light up the dash. We got the ghost in between the seats. Congratulations again to Koenigsegg Canada for the first Canadian delivered Agar RS. We're gonna go and continue on with the rest of the show, you guys. So stay tuned for some more action. They open the doors to the public. It is crazy. madness, <laughs> madness. I had to take my coat off. I'm like super over, like overheating now. As soon as all these bodies got in here, it got hot. So we have plenty of cars to see, but we're gonna just highlight a couple for this video. The first one was obviously the Koenigsegg. The second one's gonna be Lamborghini's SUV, the super SUV, the Urus, with 650 horsepower, twin turbo V8. We're gonna jump on the inside of the rope here and hopefully get a quick tour of the inside. All right, you guys, up next, as I promised, right behind me, the Lamborghini Urus, the super SUV, and they want us to showcase how much room it has. What better? Then a couple of big dudes. First of all, what do you think of the uh, very, very aggressive for a SUV design? It's aggressive, and you know what's really cool is this this top bumper line is the same as an Aventador. Like it yeah. has the same points to it. It does. It's it's very similar, and it's really cool. These lights are awesome. Very similar to the uh, Huracan and Aventador lights. I'm in love with it already. Dude, it's super clean from the back. I know, it's aggressive too. Like, look at how girthy that thing is. Gabe, jump in the back. I, will I fit? Can I fit? Yeah, 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 of course you'll fit. <sighs> Thank look you. Look at you. You can. Dude, you it's got. It's cozy. Oh, it's all. You can move it? Yep. Wow. It's adjustable. 18. That's sick. I'm coming around the other side. So, okay, yeah. guys, we're going to give you the rundown on the Urus. First of all, so. this thing screams Lamborghini. We got all the stitching in the headrests. We got the branding package. I feel like a better person. To see and by the way, <laughs> this is Natalie from Lamborghini Vancouver. She's gonna give us like a bit of the rundown since I literally know nothing about this thing. Look, I feel like there's a ton of screens in here. I'm excited. I'm just gonna sit back here and open shit. You oh. open whatever you want. <laughs> Dude, I can bleep out. Holy shit. What we got some stuff going on. We got the very uh, traditional Lamborghini start stop. What do you call this little switch cover? You have anything fancy to call it? Fighter jet style start stop. Feature. Fighter jet. I like it. Let's start with this and work our way up. So these are all your driving modes now, right? Correct. Yes. So starting with Strata, simple, and then it just starts to get more and more aggressive. Sport, Corsa, very. These are the three traditional from mm. any Huracan, Aventador. Now what is this? So traditionally I've got three modes yep. and with the Urus they've added an additional fourth which is the last one, Nive, which is the snow mode. If you choose the off-road package you can also it opt in for Sabia and Terra which is sand and sand. terrain. Sand and terrain? So, it's off -roading. like fancy words in Italian? It is, it's exactly translated from Italian. If you can say them properly, which I never can, you will sound very, very smart. So the top screen here is gonna control all of your radio, media, telephone, nav, all your driver systems, uh, parking aids. You can also change the, the lighting within the cabin and yeah, services so and settings. This I, is, um, I feel like this was first, this type of technology was first introduced in the uh, Centenario. Probably. Is that kind of the same thing? Never been inside a Centenario. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, in the Centenario, they have that big screen in the center, mm. and it, func it basically does all these functions. I want to show you something really cool. Let's do it. 
from. So navigation, traditional, you know, yeah. big screen, and you can type in. What? Yeah. Dude, they got a keyboard. What? <laughs> That'll make texting and driving so That's much easier. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also, look at this. So let me just type in. What? With your finger. What? Oh. B-A-N. It's all good. Yeah. You get the picture, Ben. You went, now. you got, you got, you got really aggressive <laughs> and, and can, went really. I think it's my nails getting in the way, but you can just. That is sick. B-A-N. And you can also talk That's to it. That's so it's cool. A drone. Yeah. Looking down view, all top over top. Down view. Yeah. How does it do that? Yeah. Just all so the cameras around it? We can actually move it around with our what? finger. And it's live right now, so we're at the auto show. I and absolutely we can... love how you're fingering us right now. Sorry. <laughs> this is this is a whole whack of cameras, mm -hmm. essentially around and the perimeter of this vehicle, exactly. and the software basically seamlessly connects them all. Which Dude, I would. What's it like back there? Can I come back there? I'm gonna go back there. How sick is this thing, you guys? I want to see what it's like sitting with another big dude in the back. It's quite comfy. What? Oh, look at this. Dude, there's so much room in here. Okay, five seat is uh, standard yep. with the Urus. You can opt for a four seat configuration. Mm -hmm. So you've got the bigger sport seats in the in the back of the That's car the as well. It. Yeah, you've got the center console here, similar to up front. You've USBs. got your cup holders. What? You've got your you lighting. Put a small child in there. Yeah, it's massive. It, you know what it feels like? It almost feels like a, a bigger slant back car mm -hmm. on some levels, like sports car. This thing is sick. Yes. I'm in love with it. Yes. It's very comfortable. First impressions, I'm psyched. Price tag. Starting at 232,000 Canadian. That's it? That's yeah. not bad. That is not bad. Good bang for your buck. Yeah. Get my driving position here. So huge center console in the Urus. Yeah. This is your tambura, which means drum. So all of your driving modes and driving systems here. And um, you've got your six different driving modes as we explained. And then you've got the optional Ego mode, which you can personalize to your own custom. Uh, all the systems designed to how you prefer it in the car. This is a very customizable car. And you Correct. don't necessarily just to spec it at the factory can customize it but once you get it everyone after the fact uh through all the tech can mm. customize it further to their desired needs and wants it's overly impressive okay so this is the lighting and visibility option in lighting and groups. visibility okay so and you can change can the lighting colors change exactly and then you've got ego mode so you can actually change it to whatever color you like and you'll see here i'm just gonna oh this go is so cool the colors and you'll see it changing. So blue. Got this so she's just tapping this and color. changing the colors inside Some the lime, cabin. Lime green. That is so neat. Yeah. Thank and you to you for your time. My pleasure. Thank you to Lamborghini Absolutely. Vancouver for allowing us to come in. Like there's a lot of people who would love to sit in here and get this type of a tour. Mm -hmm. And we will be back when you have a proper demo to go and do the next step, which is right. see what this Drive thing drives it. like. Drive it. So enjoy the, the fun rest part. of your show. Yeah, come visit us at the show. We'll be here till Sunday. Yeah, come and see everybody down here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.